Guys, guys, we're having a sleepover and I actually could not be more excited. It's currently only 4.30, but I, I just couldn't wait. I was gonna start this, you know, at a decent time to have a sleepover, but because it gets dark so early right now because it's November, also my birthday is in less than a week. That's insane. Because it gets dark so early, I cannot wait. And I have like chores that I need to get done that I was gonna do before I started the video, but I thought that it'd be fun if you guys joined me for all of it. Um, I had a brand deal to shoot earlier today, so that's what I did. Um, hold on. I just got a, I just got a work text to give me a sec. Actually, is this sleepover? Not really, they probably don't wanna see me on my phone. I'll be right back that much, but I like the other ones a lot, so we're good. And, and just take that one out or they can. Anyway, I did a brand deal this morning. Sorry, Gigi's eating, so that's what that is. But I did a brand deal this morning um, and actually I've been doing that for a while. So I just air dropped all the pictures. We did some work, that's what I'm getting at. Now I need to like put away some of my laundry, clean my room. We're just gonna do all the sleepover fun things to do. We're going to possibly go on a drive. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. We're gonna read, we're gonna gossip. I need to actually post on my Instagram story asking for like little sleepover questions. Um, we're gonna get into cute pajamas. We're gonna put on a record. We're gonna just talk. We're gonna, we're gonna have a sleepover. That's my plan. We're gonna order food. Sorry, I'm just thinking of more things that we're gonna do. I could possibly do my nails because they're not looking too good. Like up close, like they're, that was crazy. So we might do that together. I don't know, I just wanna like hang out. There's a ch small chance that Delilah will join our sleepover, but I'm not sure yet. So for right now, let's get into it. Let's do some, let's do some chores. All right, crazy. It smells so good. They're beautiful. I hope you like it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you like that? Hyper approved. You like it? These are flower company this huge thing of flowers. They're called the Million Roses and they last for like a long time. Just so cool. So that's what we're putting in my room. I got it for like when I move out. I was thinking like in my apartment type thing. It'd be cool, but I'm still in my in my house, so. These flowers are gonna stay forever just yep. like you. Yeah. I just gotta smell that one too. What do you smell? So pretty. I have to do some cleaning of the room. It shouldn't take too long, but it definitely got a little messy throughout the day. But before I do that, I'm in jeans. What pajamas, what little sleepover pajamas do I wanna wear? I do like this pajama set because it's long sleeves and pants. But I also have cheetah. Or I could do cheetah. Dang it, I hate this when they're both good options. I'm gonna ask my mother. Queen has spoken. And the queen says cheetah. So if that wasn't your pick, I'm sorry. I know. Uh, no, you're not there. Okie dokie. Sorry about that. Also, look at me laying on like all of my clothes that I need to put away. How embarrassing is that? Um, I have to pee so bad. I'm also getting kind of hungry and I'm getting a little grumpy. So, I'm gonna pee and eat. Do we want Chick-fil-A? I'm kind of feeling some Chick-fil-A. I'm always feeling Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. I need to call Delilah back. Delilah also called me. So Delilah's gonna join our sleepover for a second. Let's order some Chick-fil-A and maybe while it's on its way, I'll either FaceTime Delilah or I'll clean a little bit, but you'll see, because we're gonna do it together. setting it up for a little cute montage. How cute, sweet. Hello, everyone. Now you get to watch me clean my room. Yay. running around my room. I'm almost done though.
of creepy. Should I change it? Two white cups and I got the gin. I think that after this, it might be time to answer some sleepover questions and gossip and stuff. Can this go, please? Please, I'm just a girl. That's all I am. I think it's time to gossip. I think that it's time for that. Are we so excited? I'm gonna get all snuggly in my bed. Oh, I have to do skincare. I think it's time to gossip first though. I'm so excited, let's answer. I also, the questions that I answer, unless they're like really personal and geared towards me, you should answer in the comments. Like I don't want it, I don't want this to be like a Q and A. I want it to be like fun and cutesy and gossipy. So if I answer what my favorite late night snack is, you better answer it in the comments. My favorite late night snack though, Honestly, like probably popcorn and M&Ms. That's what I normally get. Like when I'm craving something, number one, because it's very snacky, you can eat it for a long time. Number two, it's savory and sweet. with like a nice glass of water with ice in it. Oh, have you ever asked a guy's, for a guy's socials? I can't say I have. I cannot say that I have. What's your Snapchat? Ew, would never, that would never come out of my mouth. No, I don't think that those words have ever come out of my mouth to a guy. Someone said, do you want kids? How many? And what would you want to name them? I do want kids. It, if I have a kid, I have to have another kid. I'm, there's no way that I'm only having one. So if I have kids, it must at least be two. Whether that mean adopting or what it will be. There will not just be one. I have no idea what I would name them at all. Don't even remember one that was on my like baby list, baby name list when I was like younger. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I just feel like I would change. That's such a big commitment. Like I'm going to have to have a name that has so many nicknames just in case they don't like it. You know, like, ugh, I just feel like it's a big decision. I have no idea. That's already scaring me and I'm getting anxiety. Someone said, show us your Spotify wrapped. Let's go look. I have screenshots of it. I'd rather do that than go back. Mine makes perfect sense, except for some of the songs, like my top songs. I was like, my artist makes sense. But my songs, I'm a little like, mm, I don't know about that. My artist number one is Lizzie McAlpine, which is crazy because I didn't know about her until this year. Like I didn't know about her last year and I, Delilah introduced me to her and she's my number one artist, which is crazy. Cause then number two comes in Lana Del Rey. She's been on mine for like years. So it's crazy that she's at number two. Number three is Drake. Four is Fleetwood Mac and five is The Weeknd. And then for my top songs, it's Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac, The Chain by Fleetwood Mac, You're So Vain, Give Me a Minute by Lizzie, and Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. And I'm like, really? I don't know. I'm just like that many songs by, like Rhiannon is my top song, but like how then is Lizzie my top? I don't get it. Cause I would expect my top song to be by one of my top art, like my top artist. But I guess that's not how it works. I guess Rihanna and I listen to more than any Lizzie song, which just doesn't make sense to me. Also, Give Me a Minute being my Lizzie song is kind of crazy because not that I don't like that song, I love that song, but I just don't think it's one that I played the most. But maybe, I don't know how accurate these things are, but I want to know your yours, your guys's. Your guys's? I want to know yours. I also thought the Eagles were going to be on mine because I listened to a lot of their songs and... They're not on it, and I'm a little confused about that. Um, fave go-to nail color. Right now, it's literally just nude because I used to get like acrylics like all the time, like tips and stuff, and then I stopped forever. And now I've just Delilah has this like at-home gel kit that I've used probably the last like eight times I've done my nails. And like for some reason, this one's like so long. Look at this nail. Wait, why is that so long? But I like a good dark red. I feel like that's really in right now. My toenails are like like beige, like my fingernails. But sometimes what I've been into, especially during summer, is like having toenails that are like pink or like purple or like a color. I think that's so cute. Like a cute little like blue is adorable. I said, is it weird seeing Haley grow up and start driving? I'm a little sister and I get this all the time. Everywhere we go and Haley comes with me, they're always like, oh my god, you look so big. Even if they've only, if they saw her like a month ago, it is always, you look so grown up. And I'm like, she does. Like, I, we've been getting more comments that we look alike, like a lot, even in person. Like, people are like, you guys look so alike now. I'm like, I feel like we always did, but right now we, we, we're starting to look really alike. It's so weird watching your younger sister, like, 
look old. Like, she's like gonna get her license. And I just feel like I just got my license. Like, even though I didn't, from the time that I got my license to now, the time has flown by. So the fact that like she, who's three and a half years younger than me, is, well, she can't get her license. She's about to be able to get her permit. 15 and a half, you can get your permit in California. So she's about to get her permit, which is still crazy. Like, I feel like I just did that, which I didn't, I guess. Ew, it's like, ugh. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What do you look for in a guy? That's a very sleepover question. I look for confidence. I look for how they treat their friends and what they say around their friends and how they treat their family. I look for if they have passion in life, if they have goals. I really look for when things go wrong, how their mood changes. And I, I hate negative people i mean who likes negative people so like seeing how they handle themselves in like a bad situation like let's say like what's something that goes wrong like you get a flat tire or something if they're like mad about it or if it like ruins their day i i i, I just feel like that's a red flag there's gonna be so many ups and downs in life and having like a partner who's gonna be negative about everything or just like not look at the bright side or not make something bad into something fun I don't like it. That's something I look for. That was very specific, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just look for somebody who's like sure of himself and just has good morals and values. Of course, like is emotionally intelligent um, and just like can genuinely care about people. <laughs> I feel like that's like, duh, but it's like, sometimes I'm like, is there any, like guys, I'm like, do you, do you care about anyone? Like, do you care? And like, yeah, you care about your mom, but like, no, but like, do you care about people? You know what I mean? Like, do you have that in you? to like be hurt over a situation. I don't know, I look for, I look, I love little acts of service. It's my love language to receive, not, I mean, I guess to give a little bit too, but I love, it's like the orange peel uh, theory, I think it's called. It is my biggest thing. I look for those little small things that like, let's say, just look up on TikTok, cause I feel like my um, examplars aren't gonna be as good as theirs, but let me look. Not in the material, oh, it says my boyfriend absolutely spoils me, not in the material materialistic way, but the orange peel theory way. He cuts up my steak because he knows I don't like doing it. He fills my water bottle up, takes my dog out because my dog won't go alone carries all my bags when I come over. I don't want to be spoiled in any other way, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it's pretty much just like little acts of service <laughs> that they do to show that they care about you. I am not a words of affirmation person. I could not care less. I don't care. Like, I don't care what you say to me. Um, I mean, I do, I do. Let me take that back. I do care, but it's definitely not my like love language. It doesn't make me feel loved as much as like actions do. And not like gifts. Like I think people think acts of service is like doing favors for your partner. But it's not that. It's more just like paying attention to what I'm saying and showing me that you care enough to like go out of your way, show that you listen. Or you know that I like something like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> like you know that I like what I get and you order it for me even though I don't ask you to. You know, like you know I'm gonna be hungry. So you just order it like you, j I don't know. Maybe I'm not explaining it right, but that's something I look for. Like, I love a gentleman. I love a gentleman. I, I love a gentleman. I love when they open the door for me. I love the car door opened. I, I love it. I love it. I love people who pay attention to detail. It's my favorite thing. And I'm getting happy just thinking about it. You know, like, I don't know, like something about a gentleman. <sighs> Like that being kind to strangers and waiters and just the people around him and just being cognizant and being aware of what's going on whether that be like you guys are out and he's just making sure that you're safe or like he sees that you're cold and gets you a blanket without you asking or like sees that you're stressed out so does you know what i mean like sometimes i feel like i can't say like i can't from my brain to my mouth say how, what i want and how i feel so like being, feel, feel, wow, feeling like I have somebody who knows me so I don't have to constantly use my words is a big deal to me. Hold on, I just got a text and I just ruined my train of thought. So I don't know what the last thing I just said was. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me rephrase that last thing. I don't even know how, what I just said. But what I mean is that like I, having somebody who's paying attention to you and showing it to you, I love that. Like little sticky notes. Like I love that. I love acts of service. 
Um, so I look out for that. Just people who are aware of like, like I, I'm going on a whole tangent here because we're honestly, we're having a sleepover. But like, if I'm like across the room and there's 50 people and I say like your name, I need you to be like, like, like even if you're in a conversation, maybe that's a crazy, oh, come in. Anyway, back to what I was saying is that like, maybe that's like my standards are a little too high and that's like a very like niche thing to like want but like I don't know I just feel like I just want somebody who's aware and pays attention to little details and shows that he cares rather than says that he cares you know what I mean um yeah that's what I look for (laughs) books or movies I'm reading Sex and Rage by Eve Babbitts right now and for movies I just recently watched The Notebook and I love that movie so those are my two recommendations as of literally right now who's your celebrity crush i have a list (laughs) i did this one night like don't think that i like find another person and like add them or anything i just thought this was funny one night because i could i don't know it really wasn't that funny Dylan o'brien paul walker dean from gilmore girls even though i've never seen it i've just seen pictures of him can't say that one (laughs) um henry cavill but with messy hair if he doesn't i don't like i don't like the whole superman look i don't like when it's slicked back i don't like that with messy hair look it up on pinterest and you'll see James Marsden, sexy. Jacob Elordi, sexy. Matthew Gray Goobler, but only in season seven on Criminal Minds, sexy. Andrew Garfield, but only in Spider-Man. You know what I'm gonna say. Theo James, I said I think, and I think it's because I've never seen, is it Divergent that he's in? He's also in something. I mean, he's in a bunch. And I think, I don't know. Like, don't, don't, let's say like, don't, don't be like, just don't. Also, Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars, at least in the clips I've seen. True, I've never seen Star Wars, but I have seen some clips. I first put Luke Skywalker, and Delilah said, that is not who you mean, so hopefully Anakin's right. And I ended it off with Zoe Kravitz. And that's all. That's all That's all she wrote. Um, kiss, Mary kill, firefighter, lawyer, or doctor? I've never gotten a question like that. Wait, this is a fun game. Kiss, Mary kill, firefighter, lawyer, doctor? Mm, this is a good question. Kissing a firefighter probably don't want to marry them because they're gonna I'm gonna be scared every moment that they're gonna die marry a doctor because lawyers you know I feel like they'll always like win in an argument and have like a great case so I'm gonna kill the lawyer marry the doctor but the doctors have long hours but I like spending time by myself so maybe that's good I feel like that's good kiss firefighter marry doctor kill lawyer what do you think I said how do you feel about the big 19 I feel good at first I was like I'm gonna cry Because I have always been the type of person that, like, hates growing up. Like, I remember on my ninth, on my tenth birthday when I was nine, like, sobbing my eyes out. Because I was never going to be able to be, like, single digits again. Is that what's called single digits? I'm actually really excited about 19. And I think it's because, for some reason, I don't feel as much pressure. Because 19 is such, like, an in-between age. Like, I don't even feel pressure to, like, celebrate my birthday this year, which is super nice. I just, sorry, I feel like my S's sound weird right now. Like, I feel like I'm really, like, enunciating my S's. Sorry, you're probably going to pay attention to that, too, but it's been going on in my brain for the past, like, five minutes. But anyway, I feel like for 18, of course, it's a really scary birthday, and I was, like, so nervous for it. There's just so much pressure to, like, have a good birthday and, like, do fun things and invite people and take pictures and post pictures. I don't know. It's just, it's stressful. And this year, I'm honestly just excited I feel like I've been 18 forever, which is nice. Like, I don't feel like it's coming by too soon or fast. Um, It's nice because, except for Delilah, all of my friends are older, like 20, 21, 22. So, like, it doesn't scare me as much because it doesn't feel like I'm the oldest and have to do it first. Like, they've already done this, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. You know, it makes me feel, like, young and, like, 19's not that, like, big of a deal because they're, like, older. Glad that 19 doesn't feel like there's a lot of pressure. Like, it just kind of feels like another age I feel I don't know though like being 19 is so I I can't talk about it honestly I think I'm tricking myself into saying that it's like not that big of a deal but kind of is because I hate I hate growing up I don't like it I love being a teenager and I don't like it someone said did you ever have any type of celebration for graduating high school did you get a diploma love you love you um yeah actually I was on set when I graduated high school homeschool I was 16 on side hustle and they surprised me with like a whole graduation thing it was so cute they brought like out a podium and the creator of side so like came out and spoke and like gave a speech 
and they gave me flowers and they got me a cap and gown and everybody like including like parents and stuff because it was during covid um so like limited people could be there but everybody who could be there was there and it was really nice and sweet so yes i did this isn't a question but it's something i just thought of like as reading these because i saved this to my drafts the other day on tiktok because it's like Mm, having a boyfriend just ain't gonna work that thing i recently have just been like about dating and boyfriends and stuff i'm like i've always known this but it just seems so scary recently it's like when you get a boyfriend and the like, duh jewels but it's like really thinking about this it's scaring me it's like when you get a boyfriend you either stay together get married until you die or you break up like those are <laughs> those are your options either so you're saying the second that we make it official we either have to stay together until we die and have a life together with kids and stuff or we have to end it and say no more and say i don't want to do this and we break up like that does neither of those like is that not terrifying like getting into a relationship knowing that like the chances of breaking up are <laughs> i feel like i'm getting really negative right now normally this is not how my mindset is I swear like normally I'm like oh my goodness love I love it but I think that I'm just like oh, you're right like you're right it is scary like I've never I mean I have been the person who doesn't like commitment and I hate to bring my sign into this but I am a Sagittarius but I am like what do you mean like at 18 almost 19 years old the odds of you staying with somebody until you are ready to get married. Oh, I also have something else to add to this. Until you are ready to get married. Who knows how long that's going to be? No, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Because, no, because, no. Simply put, because then you, like, no. Sorry, I'm not getting anything out because I'm having a full conversation in my head. But something else I wanted to add to this is that I saw on TikTok, and you'd give me your opinion on this. I really need to hear it. Is that... Girls or women, sorry, women wait for the right guy to come along, but guys wait until the right time to settle down, I mean. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. It's just like, well, this person's here and available and I'm ready, so this is the one I pick. And girls, duh, wait for the right person to come along. And maybe this isn't true. Like, I'm not sure it's not true for everyone, but like, I saw that on TikTok. So what's our opinion on that? I don't know. That's just something I saw. So let's talk about that in the comments. Um, it's really sad if that is true, but I think that it might be time to read something or watch something. Let me get my thoughts under control after all of that and I'll be back. I got us a snack. Oh, I'm about to get comfy. Do I want my socks on? I don't know. I don't think I do. Do I? Wait, I've got to think about this. Yeah. Any this closer to me. Yes, I still have my blankie. The snack I got us, it's M&M's, but they have peanut butter inside. I feel like I should take my makeup off. I just don't really want to yet. Is this comfy? Oh, this is comfy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I think it's time to read a little bit. Then once again, you're getting set to marriage by Eve Babbitt. Um, I am halfway through the book pretty much. I'm enjoying it. If anybody has read Eve Babbitt before, I know that she has a lot of other great books. I don't know, I think the reason I started with this one is because at Barnes & Nobles they only had like three and this is the only one that I had heard of or seen on TikTok. I don't have any of her like really popular books or maybe this is a really popular book, I'm not really sure. But if you have any other Eve Babbitt's suggestions, I know you guys are probably commenting away down there because I'm asking you so many questions. But what's your favorite Eve Babbitt's book and why? Because I'm like cold reading this one, I have no idea. Oh, I had no idea like what it was about. So let me know which one and why if you have and if even other book suggestions. I've been making sure that I read like 20 pages in the morning and 20 pages at night minimum. Um, so I read the 30 this morning. So I'm going to read now. I'm going to snack on some M&Ms. Maybe go get yourself a snack too. And we can read together for a little bit. I'll put in some relaxing music. Let's just have a fun little reading session. Oh my God, I love this little blanket. I'm having such a good time. Let me bring my M&Ms closer. And I have water by me too. I love being a girl. I 
just read and edited for like an hour but it's time to take this makeup off it's now 10 20 somehow i don't even know but i've been trying to get to bed at more of a reasonable hour so i can wake up earlier um let's do some skincare i brought it in my room earlier so i could do it in my room all right oh my god i ate so many m ms it's actually insane I'm ready to get to bed. Um, I had a great time talking though and hanging out. I'm so sorry if you thought that we were gonna be up until like 2 a.m. I'm a grandma and I like to go to bed early, especially when I have like nights in like this. I loved my little nights in. But thanks for clicking on this video and I love you. Please comment down below anything you want. Answer the questions, ask more questions, tell me video ideas. I'm definitely gonna be checking these comments and responding. So I love you and I can show you my skincare. I won't leave quite yet. If you don't care about my skincare, then I love you. Good vibe. If you do, here it is. I use these like reusable wipes and just like micellar water. I take it off. Normally I wash my face, but I'm not doing that right now. Either use like a uh, Use for the People cleanser or I think I might try CeraVe again or CeraVe, however you pronounce it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna go to, but right now I'm using Use for People. And I use Belief Moisturizer. Well, I also use, well, I use a Drunk Elephant, but I think I ran out today. It's like a serum that's super hydrating ads out, which is so sad. But thank you, Drunk Elephant, they sent that to me and I loved it. And then I use Belief Moisturizer, which I'm also almost out of. I'm almost out of my cleanser too. It's like all of my skincare ran out at the same time. I have to keep my skincare pretty easy and simple. I need to get more into it and like really research what I think my skin needs. I've been using this stuff for ever. And I feel like I want to get into like Korean skincare and like just really know that it's doing what it needs to do and then I'm doing whatever's healthiest for my skin. I just haven't had time to like research and also like skincare is so expensive and it's like, I'm also nervous to try new products. I have very sensitive skin and super red skin. And I don't know, I need, if you guys have any products that you live by, I have KP on my cheeks and my arms and naturally just super red and dry skin but also super sensitive. So if you have any suggestions, once again, I'm asking you another thing because you guys are my best friends. Um, really appreciate that because I do want to get more into skincare. I've been really enjoying like my morning routine. I like do ice massages and like facial massages. It's really cute. But I've also, because it's been so dry, I've been using Aquaphor on not only my lips, but eyelids because they get so dry this time of year. That is my skincare. I'm gonna give my hair a nice brush before I go to bed. Love you. Thank you for watching and I hope that you get some great sleep. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I'll see you next time.